way. Just that. There we go. Um, so I'm going to be uh, teaching you guys today about what pit bulls are really all about. Uh, something I'm very passionate about. Um, I'm going to be doing this by uh, giving you guys a very brief history about how pit bull type dogs originated uh, and initially came about. Uh, I'm going to explain the reason, or part of the reason why they don't deserve the uh, negative stigma placed on them. Um, and then I'm going to tell you guys about some of my personal experience with uh, pit bull type dogs. Okay, um, so in the 1600s, uh, a popular sport or event was to chain a bull or a wild bear uh, to like the middle of a field or a, an arena and let a team of dogs uh, kill it. And that was a really popular blood sport, and um, it, mainly in Europe. And bulldogs and mastiffs were used because these were uh, much larger, hardier, uh, just big dogs that were really strong. Um, but in the 1800s, bull baiting um, became outlawed in Great Britain, and so the uh, a new blood sport emerged: uh, dog fighting. Uh, instead of using bulls, they just hit other dogs against each other. And um, so since Dogs are much smaller than bulls, you didn't need the big bulldogs and mastiffs anymore. So dog fighters started breeding them with terriers, uh, which are used for like hunting game. Uh, because it's a much smaller ring, so you need much smaller uh, animals to fight in them. And um, they started breeding terriers with the bulldogs, and this is how the uh, first pit bull type dogs originated. Oops. Um, there is no such thing as a pit bull. A pit bull is not a breed of dog. It's actually a, it's a slang term used to define uh, up to, as much as up to 30 different breeds of dog uh, and their lookalikes and mixes. Um, pit bull is not a dog. Uh, when people uh, use the word pit bull, they're generally re referring to the American pit bull terrier. But they're so hard to differentiate from the other kinds of pit bulls, like the uh, American Staffordshire Terrier or just the regular Staffordshire Terrier, that even professionals and dog breeders can hardly tell them apart. Uh, it really has to do with uh, their blood. And um, the initial reason that, that there, there wasn't much fear of pit bulls until like the last 30 years when uh, the media's really been playing it up. Uh, during World War I, pit bulls were like America's symbol. Uh, we've always, pit bulls have always been really closely tied to America. Uh, they're great dogs, and the fear of mongering came about because um, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention uh, cited bite statistics and lumps pit bulls all together in one category, and uh, it showed that in a 20 year period, pit bulls were responsible for over a third of all fatalities um, compared to other dogs. And that's because pit bulls, is, they just called it pit bull, and, and they lumped all 30 different kinds of dogs into one category. So of course, like when you look at 30 different types of dogs, they're going to rack up more bite fatalities than like a word called it than one other specific breed. Um, so all of the results were skewed and not, they were invalid. And, uh, but the media reported on it anyway. And um, once it got in the news, it, it, they make really noteworthy stories, so it just kind of continued to circulate. And uh, now you hear people talk, you hear the word pit bull, and you, you freak out and imagine some monster. Um, but that's not how it really is. So the incorrect reporting of bite statistics and uh, media sensationalism led to the, uh, the spreading of misinformation, basically. Um, proponents of breed-specific legislation often cite the same CDC uh, study, but in the year 2000, the uh, Center for Disease Control and Prevention actually acknowledged itself that uh, the way that they had gone about gathering the bite statistics was wrong. and. Uh, it was flawed and inaccurate, and they admitted that in the American uh, 
Veterinary Medical Association's journal. Um, it doesn't get much more credible than that. They, they admitted that they uh, were uh, guilty of erroneously um, misleading people. Uh, the truth is that these dogs aren't violent at all. Um, they're actually one of the least human aggressive dogs in the world. Uh, and I have uh, statistics to prove that, temperament tests. Um, they do not, they're not violent dogs. I'm going to show you guys a video, a uh, short video, to try and, about someone that feels the same way as I do about the breed. There's a knob on the control panel right in front of you. <laughs> Pitbulls are my favorite kind of dog. Pitbulls are <laughs> extraordinary to me, but unfortunately, a lot of the world really doesn't like Pitbulls. The, this dog is the most feared and irrationally um, loathed and legislated against dogs, literally in the world. Tragically, the reason why so many people have been able to successfully misuse and exploit and abuse <coughs> pimples is because pimples are so loyal to their owner. If the owner is a criminal who wants to do bad things, sadly, the dog doesn't want to do those things, but because the owner wants to do it, he wants to please the owner, so he'll do it. But if the owner is a really great person who wants to go to hospitals and visit old people and young people who need a smile, um, they'll do that gladly. That's their favorite thing to do. Um, they will do search and rescue work. They will just be your friend. They will come running with you. They'll sit on the sofa with you. A lot like mutts, they're very, very versatile and adaptable. In a weird way, they kind of are mutts because they're a hybrid of terriers and bulldog. Uh, the complete name is American Pit Bull Terrier. I never said pit bulls are totally easy dogs to have. They're very, very strong. Um, they can be very strong will. You have to be firm but gentle. And um, you have to show the dog that you're the top dog, you're the boss, and so he listens to you. But you also, you don't want to be rough with him. You don't want to use cruel training methods, no shot, all of that. You just want to harness that energy for good. Believe it or not, Um, so these, these are really gentle dogs. They're very intelligent, uh, and they're, they're really, they're playful, they're kind. Uh, that's the reason I chose to, to talk about them. Uh, I've had, I've been around pit bulls since I was six years old. Um, I've had three, and I will never have another dog that is not a pit bull. And anyone, uh, I've met a lot of other pit bull owners, because I'm myself a pit bull owner, and they all say the same thing. Uh, once, like, once you go pit, you don't go back. Um, uh, their favorite thing in the world is to be around humans, and that's that's what hurts my feelings so much because they're so mistreated and misunderstood by humans. Um, and a lot of people don't even give them a chance before they they, they already conjure an image of what they think a pit bull is like in their heads. Um, they're more they're they're less aggressive than golden retrievers, and that that's the honest truth. Um, their willingness to, to, to please humans is the reason that they're so uh, abused. Um, so really quickly, I just have a few pictures of my dog because I had to put them in. And uh, so this, just to kind of show you, like this is my best friend, this is my little sister. This is my dog, in Jersey. Um, not a killer, vicious beast at all. That's fine. And uh, so hopefully next time you guys hear someone talking about pit bulls, you'll uh, tell them to uh, mind their own business and go read a book. Or actually like be around one before they start.